Hello Leo, this is Renee and welcome to your 2023 reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you for your likes and your comments. Okay, Leo, um, what is coming in for Leo for... 2023 what can leo expect what is coming next for leo in 2023 okay we have the nine of wands We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles in this reading. Uh, pentacles and Wands. Wow. Okay. So this really may have to deal with career and money this year. What else do we have for Leo for 2023? What can Leo expect in 2023? What's coming next? Five of Swords. The Four of Wands, the Queen of Cups, yes, the Chariot, <clears throat> and Justice. Okay, and Leo, what you don't see or what you don't expect this year is the Star. So with the star energy, I feel like you're healing from 2022. I feel like you went through a lot of conflicts. You went through a lot of obstacles and challenges. And I feel like you're truly healing from this situation. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this year you're viewing this year as a brand new year a brand new start as a new beginning to whatever you're doing and the star normally comes after a tower moment so after a great change after a great upheaval after a lot of obstacles this is your healing your reward your renew your new beginning um after that change after that tower moment so I feel like you're in that star um, building character right now this could also be you Leo because I know how much you like to be the spotlight but this could be you stealing the spotlight as well being the spotlight um, around your people around your community around you know, um, if you're on social media, I feel like a lot of people are following you. A lot of people want to know what Leo is doing. So, yeah, I feel like this energy is really strong for you, Leo. And it's very good energy. This is really abundant, really new, um, faithful. This is miracle building energy here with the star. Okay. And Leo, we have the nine of wands and the eight of wands okay i feel like what you went through in 2022 you built some walls you've raised your guards you are standing up for something that you totally believe in but i feel like you're being guarded you're setting your boundaries you're you're watching your back and i feel like 
as you're going into 2023, a big weight is going to be lifted off of you. I feel like you're going into this new year with a lot of hope, a lot of renewal, and I feel like your energy is being uplifted. You're going in with a positive nature, with a positive attitude, and I feel like because you're doing that, a lot more positive things are going to happen for you, and they're going to happen very quickly. You might also receive communication on something that you've really been waiting for that hasn't come through yet. Um, so I feel like this is you going through that, that fast motion to get where you want to be. Okay, and let's see. We have the... The Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, with this Eight of Wands, you may be receiving information. This may be something that maybe you put in the process of for the new year, but you might receive information on a new job, a new some kind of new income maybe you're starting a side hustle in 2023 but i feel like you are really trying to make that extra money and i feel like it's coming in for you i feel like this is the beginning of your income finally changing this is you making new investments you making ends meet with no problem and with the seven of pentacles i feel like it's something that you're really going to enjoy doing i feel like you're really going to put your all in this situation and because of that you're going to gain success and and i feel like this is something that is building but i feel like with your success it's going to slowly grow into something more sustainable but I, I really feel like it's something that you enjoy doing. You put very quality work into. Okay. And we have, I keep having to put my glasses on. I can't find my other glasses. Okay. And we have the five of pentacles. So yeah, I, I feel like you're coming out of, with this page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, I feel like you're coming out of the feeling of, not having enough like you're coming out of a place of lack you're coming out of a place of not being able to um make ends meet but I've, i feel like you you're overcoming that obstacle you're building yourself up with that and your income is increasing okay we have the five of swords and the four of wands You know what? I feel like in 2023, there are definitely going to be obstacles. We all have obstacles that we have to go through. We all have challenges. But I feel like these challenges aren't going to be so great that you can't overcome them. And I feel like once you overcome them, you're going to celebrate your defeat, um, that you defeated the situation. You are... You're going to go through a lot of happy times. I feel like this year you're going to be more social. You're going to hang out more. You are going to be with your family more. I feel like for some reason I feel like you're getting closer to the person you want to be. Okay, and we have the Queen of Cups and the Chariot. With the Queen of Cups, Leo, I feel like if this person is already in your life, I feel like you're making moves into something bigger and better uh, with this person. I feel like you're, you're going to the next level with the Queen of Cups. You're, you're taking the next step. Maybe you're moving in together. Maybe you're um, buying a house together or... or creating a family um i'm not really seeing marriage although there can be marriage but i feel like you're you're just taking the next step you're moving to the next level with this queen of cups energy if if 
this person isn't in your life now, I feel like this person is coming sometime in 2023. And this person is going to move you. This person may be a long distance love. It may be someone that you're talking to from a long range. But I feel like you're moving in this direction towards something that's going to be more successful. Something that's going to be carry you into love with this situation i feel like love is coming because you have the justice card as well excuse my phone you have the justice card as well so i feel like as you move along you're finding your truth you're finding your balance you're finding your way through your storms and i feel like 2023 is going to be so much better so much more vibrant than 2022. I feel like a lot of answers, a lot of clarity is coming to you. This is your karmic balance coming back into view. Everything that you deserve is going to come to you in 2023. This is your karmic balance coming back to you. I feel like you're going to get justice in some kind of situation. Um, this is you winning with this justice card with the chariot and the justice this is you winning this is your success the chariot is leading success into your life and the the justice card is your success unfolding Okay, what else do we have for Leo for 2023? Let's get some outcome for Leo. Let's clarify these cards. What do we have for Leo for 2023? What do we have for Leo for 2023? Okay, the world. Definitely, definitely the world. I see you completing a lot of new projects. You are reaching your goals you may be traveling a lot with this chariots and the world oh my goodness you could be moving um you could be moving around the world but i feel like this is a completion you're moving into a completion you're moving into a new cycle you're starting brand new Okay, and you have the Knight of Swords. Yes. So I definitely feel like this is, this completion is going to be a total lifetime, a lifestyle change. This is going to change your life. It's going to bring clarity and purpose into your life. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Two knights right next to each other. So, yeah, it's also going to increase your income. This is also going to bring you new money. Um, not to say you're not going to have to work hard for it, but I feel like this is going to bring new money very quickly. It's also telling you to have a little bit more patience, not to be so hasty in some of the decisions that you make. Um... Take time to think out, think out new investments. Don't act on them so hasty. And take time out for yourself. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Didn't we have the King of Cups already? Yes. Okay, we had the Queen of Cups. All right. Definitely. Okay. Well, no, this is the King of Swords. Okay. I told you I need my glasses. Okay, but yeah, I feel like you're building up your strategies. You may be also planning um, for something in your future. You may be planning on the goals that you would like to achieve. You could be planning on buying a house, planning on upgrading your car, but you're making some sort of plans. You could also be planning to start a family, but this is some kind of decisions that you're making i feel like you're putting a lot of thought you're putting a lot of intention into these um 
thoughts that you have. And we have the Five of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, I also feel like with the Five of Wands, I feel like you know that there's a lot of competition. You know that there's a lot of people who may be competing for what it is that you want. You may be doing something online that you feel like other people have the same idea. But I feel like whatever you're doing is still going to bring you a lot of success. There's enough success for everyone to go around. I feel like competition should not be an option. Competition is just a mind battle within yourself because you also have the eight of swords on the bottom so i feel like you know these are just battles of your mind um any thoughts that come to you that you know that there there's too many people out here doing this or there's too many business out businesses out here who are selling this service and i may not be able to succeed those are just battles of your mind don't hold your back from anything that you want to accomplish. There's enough success for everyone to go around. Make sure that you understand that. Make sure you know that. And keep doing what you're doing. Just put in the work, Leo, and you will get it done. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, we have the two of wands on the bottom. So yeah, definitely look towards your future. Uh, create your project. Make your choice. Also make travel plans because you may be traveling sometime this year. Um, let's see. What else do we have for Leo for 2023? What else do we have for Leo? We have dissipating. Okay. Yeah, this is some more... Five of Swords energy, Five of Wands energy. Yeah, and I, I feel like, I mean, we just covered that. We just covered that um, situation. So I feel like, you know, just stand your ground. Nine of Wands, stand your ground. Hold up your defenses. Don't give up. Keep pushing forward. And success will come. Eight of Wands energy. Success will come. Hold your ground. Okay, and guilt. Okay, so you may be holding on to some kind of guilt or some kind of feelings that are kind of overflowing from 2022 into 2023. But change your perception. Change your perception in your thoughts, Leo. Um, this is a new year, new life, new beginning. And a whole totally new perspective on what you can accomplish. Success is yours. Okay, what else do we have for Leo for 2023? What else do we have for Leo? The land in between. Yeah, you're still holding on to insecurities, Leo. You're still in that space where you're not quite sure what direction to move in but whatever direction you choose move in a direction just move just move in a direction and you'll find out if you need to redirect yourself after a little time but yeah just move eight of wands just move okay yeah just move in a direction you'll know if you need to be redirected Leo, you'll know. Yes, just what I was saying. A powerful move. Just move in a certain direction. Make a choice. Make a stand. And the universe will guide you using your intuition, using your gut feeling. You are going to blossom this year. You're feeling the world. Leo. You are feeling the world. This is going to be a powerful year for you. I feel like you are going to bring about a lot of success. A lot of things are unfolding for you this year. Okay. 
you have the venom. Okay, so I'm with the venom. You know, I feel like be careful for those things that really suck the life out of you. Kind of steer away from people who all they do is take. They don't want to give. They don't want to um, support. All they want you to do is to support them. So be careful for people around you who are um, just life force vampires. I release the guilt that you may have. Release all the negativity. Okay, what else do we have for Leo? We have full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. Yes, make sure to take time out for yourself to really rejuvenate yourself. Concentrate on how you're feeling, how your body's reacting, how you know what what you're putting into your body how you are um taking care of your health really breathe through and take time to nourish yourself okay we have new moon in scorpio go deeper find that wisdom go deep within leo and first quarter moon in pisces honor your feelings Yes, you are the most important person to somebody. Honor your feelings. This is self-love. This is perseverance. This is focusing on your healing, on your true nature. Honor your feelings. Okay, that is what I have for you. And at the bottom, what you don't see, <laughs> step out in faith, Leo. Have strength. Be courageous. Go wild. As beautiful to end the reading with Leo energy. Okay, this is your year, Leo. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And Happy New Year, Leo. Many blessings to you. Love and light.